Hey everyone, I'm Eric Thomas of Eric Thomas Studios, and today we'll be going into how you can set up depth of field in Poser. Before we can add depth of field, we'll need a couple models in our Poser scene. Once we have them in there, we can get started. First up, make sure you set your scene's camera up how you want. Like everything else in Poser, when you have a camera selected, there are a couple different controls you can use over in your parameters. We're looking for our focus for this effect, it'll be up near the top. Now like the other parameters, we can use the slider to drag the focus closer to the camera or push it further out, or we can manually enter a number by clicking on the text box. It'll be that text box that'll be coming in handy here. But if we just enter a number, that won't necessarily go well. So we can actually use a script inside Poser to find the exact number for us instead of guessing. We'll first need to pick out the point of interest or the thing we don't want to be blurred. When you know what the POI is, click it to select it. Then we'll head up to the top of Poser and under the window menu, open up our Python scripts. This will pop a panel open under our parameter. There are a lot of cool scripts we can use here, but for the DOF, we'll want to go and click on the button that says render slash IO. In the new options that show up, we'll want the one that says calc DOF focal distance. When we click on this, a new window will open up with a number and a bunch of decimal points. Click in the window and copy that whole number using Commander Control C. Then we'll switch back over to our camera and click the number next to focus distance. When it turns red, type Commander Control V to paste our DOF numbers in and press enter or return. The camera will now be focused on that exact space in the scene. This is also where we'll want to change another camera setting. Our f-stop will control how blurred everything that isn't in focus ends up. The lower the number here, the more blur, while higher numbers will make everything sharper. And with that done, we have one more thing we need to set up and we're good. Head up to the render menu at the top of the program and go to render settings, or type command or control Y. First and foremost, we need to make sure the depth of field is turned on for our render. This is as simple as clicking the check mark under options next to the depth field in the Superfly render settings. This will be the same thing you'll do in the Firefly render as well in older versions of Poser. A thing to note before you click render though is that when you render, you might end up with a lot of noise in the blurrier areas. This is controlled by the number of samples in our render, whether Firefly or Superfly. For Firefly, you just need to increase the pixel sample number to fix this issue. Likewise, we do the same thing in Firefly, but there are quite a few different number of samples that we can increase there. Again, higher means better quality. Higher also means longer render time, so keep that in mind when pushing the numbers up. And because Poser is an animation software too, you can also set a keyframe on your focus distance and or f-stop to animate a push or pull focus effect if you so desire. Whatever the case, from there, it's just a matter of hitting render and finding something to do while Poser does its work. And that was pulling off depth of field in Poser. I hope you've all learned something and had fun doing it. If you have any feedback, you can let me know with a comment below or with a message to at et underscore studios on Twitter. You can also like this video and share it around, I'd appreciate the help getting the word out. And I'm planning to be back here every Friday, so if you like this, be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Have a great day everyone.